All right, so you want to open up an Etsy shop, huh? You've come to the right place. We're going to help you nail those uh, those crucial first steps before you even list that first, you know, handmade masterpiece. Right. It's kind of like before the starting gun even goes off. It's fascinating how many successful Etsy sellers really emphasize that pre-launch phase. Yeah. You know, it's almost as important as what you do once your shop is live. I like that analogy. It's like you're building a house, right? The right. foundation is everything. Exactly. And we have got like a stack of YouTube videos from Etsy veterans. Awesome. Um, we've got Brandon Timothy, Sean Shalist, Kate Hayes, Dylan Jarouse, and uh, and Kim Bliss. Great lineup. Yeah, so they've been there, done that. They're sharing their hard-won wisdom. Absolutely. So grab your notebooks, future Etsy moguls. Yeah, let's let's unpack this this pre-launch stage because like multiple sources highlight that this is where you set yourself up for success. Yeah. Or frankly, a lot of avoidable headaches later. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. So first up, knowing your target audience. Yeah. Brandon Timothy is like super passionate about this. Yeah. And and it makes sense. Imagine you're trying to sell those adorable like hand knit baby booties. Right. But you're only marketing to say college students. Yeah. Not exactly the right crowd. Not quite the target market. No, no. It's about finding that sweet spot where your passion and and a hungry market kind of intersect. I love that. Yeah, who are you making this for? Yeah. What are their needs? What are their interests? What are their pain points that your product solves? Yes, and once you've got that clarity, SEO becomes your best friend. Oh, yeah. Now, I know SEO can sound intimidating. Sure. But think of it like this. It's how you make sure your shop pops up when someone searches for, you know, handmade baby booties. When they type it in. Yes, or whatever your awesome creations are. Exactly. And several of the sources recommend tools like Everbee Sales Samurai E-Rank Key Search. Oh, yeah. To help you figure out which keywords are really going to attract those buyers. Ooh, it's like a secret decoder ring. Exactly. For Etsy's search algorithm. <gasps> it's like magic, but it's not. It's a little bit of magic. Yeah. But you can learn it. It's a learnable magic. You can learn it. Yeah. Okay, next up, branding. Oh, yes. Sean Shalist emphasizes that establishing a cohesive look and feel for your shop, even if it's, you know, placeholder elements to be updated later, is essential. That's such a good point. Yeah. You know, and this really resonates with, I think, a very common fear among new sellers, this feeling that they're not, quote unquote, professional enough to launch. Oh, yeah. But the truth is, it's okay to start small. Yes. And iterate as you go. Absolutely. You know, think of those early days as a learning phase, not a final exam. Not a final exam. I love that. Okay. <laughs> and while you're setting up the shop, Dilla Drowse has a pro tip that'll save you time and stress down the line. Ooh, tell me more. Create your shipping profiles before you get swamped with orders. Oh, that's such a good one. Right. Yeah, it's one of those behind-the-scenes details that can make your life so much easier once those sales start rolling in. Yes. Okay, let's move on to the heart of your Etsy shop, those compelling listings. Okay. Because let's be real, amazing photos yeah. are the first thing that grabs a buyer's attention. Absolutely. Right. 100%. Yeah. Kate Hayes stresses that professional-looking images are non-negotiable. Yeah. And she has a fantastic tip, especially for digital sellers. Etsy itself has some great mock-up tools that you can use. Oh, I love that. Built, Built right in. Built right in. Think of your listing photos like mini advertisements. They are... For your products. Yeah. They need to be clear. They need to be well-lit and visually appealing to entice those buyers to click and learn more. Exactly. And once they've clicked... Yes. That description better be a knockout. Oh, it does. It yeah. does. Yeah. Multiple sources emphasize detailed keyword rich descriptions that not only describe the product, but also tell a story and connect with the buyer. And Brandon Timothy lays out this great framework. Tell me about it. Okay. What the product is, how it benefits the customer, and why they should buy from you. I love that. Right. It's about selling the experience as much as the product itself. Yes. And Dylan Jarraus adds another brilliant layer anticipate those buyer questions. Oh, such a good one. Right. Yeah. Addressing potential queries right there in the description makes for smooth sailing. Right. And avoids those back and forth messages later on. Exactly. It's all about providing excellent customer service from the get-go. Yes. You know, creating a positive experience that leads to those coveted five-star reviews. Absolutely. Okay, let's tackle something that can be a bit of a head-scratcher for new sellers. Okay. Pricing for profit. Pricing. Because we all want to make money doing what we love. Yes, we do. Right? That's the goal. But there's a fine line between pricing competitively 
and underselling yourself. There is a delicate balance. Yeah. And multiple sources caution against that race to the bottom mentality yeah. where sellers are just slashing prices just to compete. Right. It's a recipe for burnout. Yeah. And it frankly devalues the incredible work that goes into handmade and vintage products. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. Um, think about it. If you're selling like 200 items for a dollar each, mm -hmm. are you really building a sustainable business? You're going to be working yeah. all the time. You're not going to sleep. And not making any money. And you're going to be exhausted. Yeah. Probably not. Kate Hayes has a smart two-phase approach. Oh, tell me. Okay. Start competitively to gain traction. Right. Then adjust for higher profit once you have a sales history and established credibility. You've got social proof. Then you can start increasing those prices. Okay. Speaking of building a business you love. Yes. This might be a good time to mention a valuable resource that can help you expand your income streams. Affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, yes. Ooh, that's a good segue. It is. If you're looking to add another tool to your entrepreneurial toolkit, make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. With an I. And grab his free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's packed with over 12,300 words of valuable info. Wow. No. That's a lot of information. That's a lot of great information. It sounds like a fantastic resource for anyone looking to leverage their existing skills and interests yes. to generate additional income, especially as you're, you know, getting your Etsy store off the ground. Absolutely. Just pop your name and email into the form on his site. Click the verification link mm -hmm. sent to your email and you'll be good to go. The link is in Brian's YouTube bio. Perfect. All right. Now back to Etsy. Okay. Once you've got those killer listings ready to roll, it's time to talk about marketing. Because guess what? Etsy won't just magically bring you customers. It would be nice. It would be nice, but... So many new sellers just assume that opening a shop is enough. Right. But it's more like setting up a booth at a bustling craft fair. You need to attract those buyers and make them want to visit your stall. Yes. Dylan Rouse has a refreshing perspective on this master SEO and organic social media traffic before even thinking about Etsy ads. Okay. It's about building a solid foundation, not throwing money at the problem. I like that approach. Right. And Kate Hayes shares her top three marketing approaches. Email, social media, and influencer marketing. A lot to unpack there. Honestly, we could do a whole deep dive just on those. Yeah. But the key takeaway is that marketing is essential for getting your shop in front of the right people. So true. Right. Speaking of smart strategies, building a business you love often means exploring multiple income streams. Yeah. And that's where that free affiliate guide from BrianGarvin.com comes in handy. Don't forget to check it out. It could be a game changer for your entrepreneurial journey. Knowledge is power. It is. The more tools you have in your arsenal, the better equipped you'll be to navigate this ever-evolving world of online business. Now, before we get too carried away with dreams of Etsy riches, okay. let's have a little reality check, courtesy of Kim Bliss, who's been rocking the Etsy world for a whopping 17 years. Wow. I know, right? 17 years. She's seen it all. Yeah. Kim reminds us that Etsy is a powerful tool, but it's not a magic solution. Right. It takes work adaptability and a long-term mindset to succeed. And she warns about those infamous Etsy bots and the possibility of shop suspensions. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's essential information for any newbie. Right. Those automated systems can be a real headache if you accidentally trigger a suspension. Yeah. So understanding the rules of the game is crucial. Exactly. And she also stresses that Etsy is constantly evolving ridder. Huh. Algorithms change, fees fluctuate, and even what's allowed to be sold can shift unexpectedly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a dynamic platform, which can be both exciting and challenging. It is exciting and challenging. Yeah. So being adaptable is key. Yeah. You have to be willing to roll with the punches and adjust your strategy as needed. Just like life. It's like surfing. Yes. You got to ride those waves and not get wiped out by I love that analogy. Right. right. And that brings us to our final must-do before launch customer service. Ooh. This is where you build your reputation, those all-important five-star reviews that attract new buyers. Yeah, those five-star reviews are like gold. They are like gold. Multiple sources highlight excellent customer service as non-negotiable. Dylan Jarouse uses a memorable analogy. Imagine you're working at the Four Seasons Hotel. Okay. That's the level of service you should aim for. High standards. It's about going above and beyond, exceeding expectations, and creating a memorable experience for your buyers. 
Think of it as building relationships, not just transactions. Okay, we've covered a ton of pre-launch essentials. Love. But now let's get into the nitty gritty of setting up your shop. We've got some great insights from Create with Pennies on this. Awesome. What's interesting is how user-friendly the process is. Yeah. Even if you're not a tech whiz, Etsy makes it pretty straightforward to navigate the setup. That's good to know. First things first, head to Etsy.com and click Sell, Create with Pennies. Recommends using a dedicated email address for your shop, which helps keep your personal and business inboxes tidy. Oh, that's smart. Right. Makes things separate. And don't forget, a strong password security is crucial when you're dealing with financial transactions. Uh -oh. Etsy will ask a few basic questions about your shop like language, country, currency, to tailor their recommendations. Okay. Then comes the fun part, choosing your shop name. Ooh. Now, don't overthink it. Okay. It could be changed later. Just choose something that reflects your brand and is easy to remember. And no spaces allowed? No spaces. Yeah. You can use underscores or simply run the words together. Gotcha. Once that's done, it's time to create your first listing. Now, don't stress about perfection. Okay. Even a placeholder listing will get your shock up and running, and you can always go back and edit later. I like that. But even a placeholder needs a great photo. True. Make sure it's clear, well-lit, and accurately represents your product. First impressions matter. They do. Adding a video is also a fantastic way to showcase your product in action and give potential buyers a better sense of what they're purchasing. That's such a good idea. Now for the listing details, title, description, and tags, this is where SEO comes back into play. Remember those keywords we talked about? Yes. They need to be sprinkled strategically throughout these sections. Okay. Um, Brandon Timothy's framework for a killer description is a great starting point. What the product is, how it benefits the customer, and why they should buy from you. Right. And don't forget to choose the right category for your product. Oh, yeah. This ensures that your listing appears in relevant search results, making it easier for the right buyers to find you. It's all about discoverability. It is. Yeah. And those tags use all 13. All 13. Think of them as extra signposts guiding those eager shoppers right to your door. I love that. Right. Yeah. Next up, inventory and pricing. Specify how many items you have available and how much you're charging. Remember, factor in all your costs, materials, labor shipping, those pesky Etsy fees to ensure you're making a profit, not just breaking even. Right. Right. And don't fall into that race to the bottom trap. Yeah. Underpricing your products won't build a sustainable business. Nope. If you're offering personalized items, enable the personalization option. It's a fantastic way to add that special touch that buyers love. And for digital sellers, Etsy makes uploading your files super easy. They handle the delivery and security so you can focus on creating amazing products. And physical product sellers, make sure those shipping profiles are set up in advance. Oh, yes. Streamlining this process will save you time and stress when the orders start pouring in. It's all about working smarter, not harder. Exactly. Once you've entered all the juicy details for your listing, you can preview, save as a draft, or hit that publish button and make it live in your shop. Remember to add your listings to the appropriate shop sections to keep things organized. Good organizational tip. And the more listings you have, the better your chances of being discovered. Yes, the more the merrier. Right now, you're almost ready to launch. But there's one more crucial piece to the puzzle, understanding Etsy's fees and policies. The business side of things. Yes, this is the business side of Etsy, hmm. and it's essential for running a profitable and ethical shop. Right, let's break it down. Etsy charges a few different fees. There's a listing fee currently 20 cents per listing, which lasts for four months or until the item sells. Then there's a transaction fee of 6.5% of the total sale price and a payment processing fee, which varies based on your location and payment method. Etsy also has a whole slew of policies covering everything from prohibited items to intellectual property to seller conduct. Familiarizing yourself with these is crucial to avoid any unpleasant surprises. I know it can feel overwhelming, sure. but it's just part of running a business. Right. And hey, if you're feeling but lost in the world of entrepreneurship, there's a fantastic resource that can help. Oh, you mean the 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate guide? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Uh, with an I. You can find the link in his YouTube bio. Simply submit your name and email. Click the verification link sent to your email address, and you'll get instant access to over 12,300 words of life-changing information. That's amazing. I know. Yeah. Get okay, back to Etsy. We've got the shop set up, the listings polished, and a solid understanding of the fees and policies. Now, let's dive into one of the most crucial aspects of Etsy success, customer service. Yes, because those five-star reviews are like gold. They are like gold. 
They attract buyers and boost your shop's visibility and exceptional customer service is the key to earning them. It's about going above and beyond exceeding your buyer's expectations and creating a positive, memorable experience that makes them want to come back for more. Think of it as building relationships, not just transactions. Be responsive, address concerns promptly and professionally, and add a personal touch whenever possible. A handwritten thank you note or a small freebie can make a big difference. All right, we've covered a lot of ground here. We have. You've got your shop set up, you understand the rules, and you're ready to provide amazing customer service, but how do you actually attract those buyers and make those sales? That's the million-dollar question. That is the question, and that's what we're going to dive into next. Ooh. Specific strategies for making your Etsy shop a success. We're talking SEO marketing and all the juicy details that will transform your shop from hidden gem to Etsy superstar. Love it. I love it too. I'm so excited. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Okay, <laughs> so let's get down to brass tacks. How do we make this Etsy shop a roaring success? Well, you know, it's interesting. All of the experts we've listened to, they emphasize this key ingredient, a growth mindset. Ooh, a growth mindset. Yeah. Tell me more. Yeah, it's not just about like the practical steps, right? It's about how you approach this whole journey. Right. Remember Kim Bliss, who's been on Etsy for 17 years? Yes. You know, she talked about how much the platform has changed over time. Oh, yeah, for sure. You have to be adaptable. You have to be willing to learn and ready to kind of embrace those inevitable challenges. Right. A growth mindset means viewing mistakes as stepping stones, not roadblocks. Exactly. Remember Sean Shalist's advice about branding? Yeah. Start with placeholder elements. Yeah. And refine as you go. Yeah. It's okay to not have everything perfectly figured out from day one. Perfection is the enemy of good. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So true. So true. Be open to feedback experiment with different approaches and constantly look for ways to improve. Yes. And remember, you are not alone in this. You're not. The NC community is full of supportive sellers who are happy to share their knowledge. So true. So tap into those resources, join Etsy forums, attend online workshops, connect with other sellers on social media. It's like having a built-in cheerleading squad and a team of mentors all rolled into one. It's amazing. And speaking of valuable resources, remember that free affiliate guide we mentioned, the 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate guy from BrianGarvin.com. Yes. It could be a game changer as you're building your Etsy business. Mm -hmm. It's all about diversifying those income streams and exploring different avenues for growth. Absolutely. Yeah. And remember, success on Etsy, it takes time and effort. It does. But it's not just about the money. Right. It's about creating something you're passionate about. Yes. Connecting with customers who love your work and building a business that brings you joy. It's about building a brand that reflects your unique creativity and vision. What will make your shop stand out in that crowded Etsy marketplace? What story do you want to tell? Etsy is just a tool. Right. You are the artist, the creator, the entrepreneur. Yes. So don't be afraid to let your personality shine through and build a shop that truly represents you. I love it. And if you need a little extra guidance on the business side of things, remember to check out BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. With an I. His free affiliate guide is packed with over 12,300 words of valuable info and could be just what you need to take your entrepreneurial journey to the next level. Simply submit your name and email Click the verification link and you're all set. So go out there, future Etsy stars, armed with all this amazing knowledge, a sprinkle of that Etsy magic and a whole lot of passion. We can't wait to see what you create. Okay, so we've prepped for launch. We set up our shop. We've got those killer listings and we're ready to wow those customers. We are ready. But now what? Now the real fun begins. The real fun begins. It does. <laughs> it's time to turn that Etsy dream into a thriving reality. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. So how do we do that? So let's start with a crucial truth that several of our experts emphasized. Etsy is a marathon, not a sprint. Okay, I like that. It's not about overnight success. It's about building a sustainable business right. that can weather those inevitable ups and downs. And we know there will be ups and downs. There will be. Yep. So Kate Hayes had this amazing analogy. She compares running an Etsy shop to tending a garden. Oh, I love that. It's like you got to plant those seeds, nurture them with care, and be patient as they grow. You can't rush a garden. You can't. And you can't rush success on Etsy. Nope. So speaking of patience, yeah. how long did our experts say it typically takes to start seeing some real traction? You know, it varies, but most of them said don't expect to get rich quick. Okay. It can take anywhere from a few months to a year or even longer right. to build a solid customer base and a consistent income stream. 
It's a long game. It's a long game. Okay, so we're in it for the long haul. We're tending that garden with care. Yeah. But how do we make sure our little Etsy seedlings are getting the sunlight they need to thrive? That's where a strategic approach to marketing comes in. Ooh, marketing, yes. And one of the most powerful tools in your arsenal is something we've touched on before, SEO search engine optimization. Right. Make those keywords sing. Exactly. Make sure your shop and your listings are optimized so they pop up when those eager buyers are searching for those unique treasures. So we're talking titles, descriptions, tags, categories, all that good stuff. All of that. Okay. But SEO is just one piece of the puzzle. It is. What other marketing strategies did our experts recommend? Well, social media is a must these days. Of course. Yeah, think Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, wherever your target audience hangs out. Right, and it's not just about posting pretty pictures. Nope. It's about building a community. Exactly. Engaging with those followers and showcasing the personality behind your brand. Yeah, to tell your story. Tell that story, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Now we've talked about SEO, we've talked about social media. Yes. What about email marketing? Oh, email marketing is such a powerful tool. Yeah. It allows you to connect directly with your customers, nurture those relationships, and let them know about new products, sales, and special promotions. So build that email list from day one. Absolutely. Offer a little incentive like a discount code or a freebie in exchange for those precious email addresses. And speaking of incentives, yes. let's not forget about the power of good old-fashioned sales and discounts. Oh, yes, yeah, sales. Everybody loves a good sale. Everybody loves a sale. Right. Yeah. Dylan Drow suggests running regular promotions to attract new customers and reward those loyal shoppers. So maybe a flash sale for a weekend? Exactly. Or a special discount for repeat buyers? Yeah, there's so many creative ways to play with this. I love that. Yeah. Okay, so we're marketing like crazy. Yeah. We're offering irresistible deals. Right. But what about those inevitable bumps in the road? Oh, there will be bumps. Yeah, what happens when we encounter challenges like slow sales, negative reviews, or even, you know, those dreaded Etsy suspensions? Well, Kim Bliss, our seasoned Etsy veteran, uh, she reminds it? us that resilience is key. Resilience. Yeah. Don't let setbacks derail you. Okay. View them as learning opportunities. Right. Analyze what went wrong, make those adjustments, and keep moving forward. And remember, you're not alone in this. Never. Yeah, tap into that amazing Etsy community for support and advice. Exactly. And if you need uh, a little extra boost on the business front, that free affiliate guide from BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, could be a game changer. Yes, it's packed with over 12,300 words of valuable info on building a successful online business. Check it out. All right, so as we wrap up this deep dive into the world of Etsy, yes, let's remember that success on this platform is not just about following a set of rules. Right. It's about bringing your own unique spark, creativity, and passion to the table. It's about building a brand that reflects you. Exactly. Connecting with customers who genuinely appreciate your work and crafting a business that brings you joy and fulfillment. So go out there, future Etsy superstars. Yeah. Embrace the journey. Embrace the journey. Experiment. Le Learn. Grow. 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 And never stop creating those amazing products that the world is waiting to discover. We can't wait to see what you make. We can't wait to see what you make.